It can be easy to dismiss animals as beings who are enslaved to their animalistic instincts. They must prey in order to survive. But sometimes, under the right circumstances, they can build some very unlikely and powerful friendships as well. From a big fluffy dog and a duck to a wolf and a bear, here are 20 best animal friendships in the world. Number 20. Dog's exhausted after giving birth, so she asks her goose friend for help. Now what comes to mind when you think of a goose? I've never really been a great lover of these scary birds. It's a sentiment that's carried over from when I was in university. Viral Paws uploaded a video of a gentle goose lovingly caring after her newborns on YouTube, and the video has received over 2.7 million views from people all around the globe. Anyone who's brought a kid into the world will understand how difficult it is to care for them while they're little. As a result, we spare no thought for animals with litters of five or six. When a mother dog would give birth to six puppies, a local goose acquired maternal instincts and made it a point to assist with the pup's care. Now, while I don't know why a goose is taking up residence in someone's house, one thing is certain, she seems to have benefited very much from her domestication. The goose can be seen looking over the pups as they sleep in their kennel, and at one point, she even seems to move her beak as if she's counting them all. But she doesn't simply stand on the sidelines and watch, the goose even allows herself to be used as a climbing structure for the puppies and shows no signs of being frustrated. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. Today, I've got a very special treat for you, and this super short clip of a tiny little puppy riding a mother goose. It's little videos like this that really help to remind you just how cute the world can be. Have you guys ever seen anything cuter than this? You should definitely let me know in the comments below using the hashtag fancy topic. And now on with the show. Number 19, Owen and Mazie. Officials say a young hippopotamus that survived the tsunami waves on Kenya's coast has developed a close connection with a big male century-old tortoise in an animal facility in Mombasa's port city. The hippopotamus, called Owen, weighs in at 300 kilos and was washed down the Sabaki River into the Indian Ocean and then thrown to the shore when a tsunami would hit Kenya's coast, before being rescued by wildlife rangers. Owen would then be taken to Holler Park in Kenya and released into the park, immediately running to a giant 130-year-old tortoise named Mazie. The tortoise, although perhaps a little surprised by the sudden appearance of the hippopotamus, was gentle and kind to the lost creature. The pair could be seen affectionately curled up together, and they would take daily walks throughout the park, hanging out at the pond, feeding and learning. They quickly became famous, drawing the interest of the world's press and tourists who were keen to see the tortoise and the hippo that were such great pals. The comfort and security that Mazie offered to Owen was so important during the hippo's time of need, the solid and reassuring presence of such an old-timer gave the young orphaned hippo the confidence to grow and develop, Mazie teaching the hippo about the world along the way. After spending several years in the care of the giant tortoise, the hippopotamus was then able to join other hippos in the park. Such a beautiful friendship. Number 18. Bubbles and Bella this is one of the cutest animal friendships I've seen in quite some time. Bubbles, an African elephant, and Bella, a black Labrador, both inhabitants of the Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina, have become fast friends and are often seen playing in the water together. Bubbles tosses the ball with her trunk in the water while Bella leaps off of Bubbles' head or back and swims to collect it. Bubbles would be rescued in Africa after her parents were discovered dead by poachers during a 20-year massacre of elephants for their ivory tusks. She was one of just a few elephants that were adopted, and the others were either freed or slaughtered due to a lack of suitable facilities. 
Bubbles was barely 340 pounds and 42 inches tall when she initially arrived and is now almost 9 feet tall, weighing in at about 4 tons. The contractor who constructed Bubbles' swimming pool abandoned Bella in the park. Number 17. Bee and Wilma Maybe it's because of their long necks or their graceful strides, but whatever it is that brought Bee the giraffe and Wilma the ostrich together at Bush Gardens in Tampa Bay, something wonderful has happened. The two young animals, according to zookeepers, can't get enough of each other. B, who's three years old, and Wilma, who's 10, reside in the Serengeti Plain, a 65-acre display that includes giraffes, zebras, rhinos, African elephants, and birds. B and Wilma were both born and reared on the theme park premises and have reached out to each other despite the fact that most animals prefer to spend time with their own species. Number 16. Sniffer and Tinny in a Norwegian forest, the unlikely friendship between an Alsatian dog named Tinny and a wild fox known as Sniffer would be born. A photographer by the name of Torger Berg, Tinny's owner, takes the dog for walks in the forest near their home. Fortunately for the photographer, he brought his camera and began documenting what's become a great friendship. Curious and friendly, the dog and the fox investigate each other, recognizing something similar yet also quite different. They now play together in the forest whenever the photographer takes his dog for the walk. He captures these pals at play, creating a document that really does show how two creatures from different lives, one domestic and one wild, may have a lot more in common than people think. The pictures show that the friends play with a ball, run through the forest in all seasons, and perhaps the fox bringing out the more wild nature of the dog. In return, the dog showing the playful side to the fox, perhaps? Either way, it's good press for both species. This experience has given Torger a reason to become a campaigner against the fox fur trade in Norway, and he sees the true beauty of the often misunderstood wild fox wanting them to be protected. And I think he's right, don't you? Number 15. Milo and Bone Digger now, this one is about some of the animals in Joe Exotics Oklahoma Zoo in 2013, so as we mostly know how that all ended up, it's a bit more worrying than it is cute, perhaps. But let's take a look at the story at face value, because these animals may well have found comfort in each other during a mess of madness all around them. Milo is a cute 11 pound dachshund who spends his days hanging out with a 500 pound lion who goes by the not-so-cute name of Bone Digger. Despite the pair's vastly differing sizes and the fact that one of them could literally swallow the other whole, they seem to be extremely happy in each other's company. Bone Digger apparently has a bone disease, and that means he's not able-bodied as some other lions might be, and this may have made the friendship forged between the beast and the pup even stronger as he couldn't join in with the lions at their play. Introduced to Milo when still a cub, the mighty bone digger has grown into a huge maned lion, but the size of this guy never bothered the little sausage dog. They can be seen snuggled up together, even licking each other, and not in a preparing to eat the other sort of way. It's true, they do seem to really love each other, and that's amazing. Number 14. Geese protect their piglet friend from getting bullied. When there's an animal that's smaller or weaker than the others, it's sad to see that little creature get pushed around or even left out when the others are there. And I guess that's how this flock of geese would feel when they saw this poor little piglet being picked on by the other pigs. Word to the wise, don't mess with geese, because these birds can be pretty aggressive. So it's good to know that they're putting that feisty side of their personality into some bodyguard services for the little pig. When this piglet would be born, he was much much smaller than the others in the litter, and he was also of a different color. And those other pigs, just like playground bullies, picked on their sibling, 
pushing him around, all because he was different. He couldn't get a look in at the feeding trough either, and they chased him off whenever he came near. It could be a tragic story if it wasn't for the unlikely friendship and protection that he would find within a gaggle of geese. These big waddling demon birds didn't like the way that little piggy was being treated, so they took him under their wings. Now the pig spends much of his time with the geese, walking with them, eating with them, and playing with them. And if those mean big pigs get too close, well, they get a a right honking earful from the geese. Number 13. Manny the Wild Boar Piglet and Candy the Terrier Manny is one of the luckiest wild boars on the planet, being discovered hungry in a field in Germany. He had been abandoned by his mother when he was just a few weeks old and gotten off to a bad start in life. Manny was fortunate enough to be adopted by the Dollhouse family, who bottle-fed him and introduced him to Candy, the family's Jack Russell Terrier. Manny and Candy are said to play together every day. They hide and seek and run through the hedges and shrubs, generally having a great time. Manny, who is now five weeks old, seems to be learning to communicate with Candy as he is beginning to bark. Manny's long-term survival is not a concern for animal enthusiasts. Manny isn't really meant for anyone's dinner plate, even if the family are amateur hunters. This young pig will either remain with the family or go to a wildlife park to live happily ever after. A rescued animal is one of our favorite things in the world, and if there's one thing we cherish more than a rescued animal, it's this interspecies friendship. Number 12. Golden Retriever Makes Friends with a Baby Goat We all know that dogs are the greatest, but that doesn't mean they don't sometimes surprise us. They turn out to be not just man's best friend, but also the best friend of everything that lives. A newborn sheep with a golden retriever? Who'd have guessed? When the dog was brought to the child, however, she developed a feeling of self-responsibility and took on the role of caregiver and protector. Isn't that just adorable? Just take a look at how the dog and the sheep do everything together, even on the beach. And even when the sheep drinks from the bottle, the dog may hold it. These two are inseparable and will become great buddies for the rest of their life. Number 11. Baby Rhino is best friends with dog and lamb. When Esme the Rhino was brought into the center from a neighboring game farm in October of 2017, she was only a few months old. After not getting nourishment from her mother's milk, she was thin and emaciated, and the crew was heartbroken to watch unrelated rhinos refusing to connect with her. That's when David stepped in to help. David is an Antolian shepherd who she met as a puppy. Despite their strong connection, David was severely injured a few years ago when Esme actually stepped on him. They needed to spend some time apart from one another, and a lamb would be brought in to give Esme comfort when she and David were separated, and the two developed a close relationship. Even though it's an interspecies relationship, petty sheep have a strong motherly instinct and are extremely protective of the animals in which they become friends with. Even so, all of them had to take their time bonding as David recovered, and when Esme's health recovered, the two became even closer. Initially, there was a considerable amount of tension between the dog and the lamb when David was brought back into the mix, but there are a lot of videos of this threesome on YouTube. A recent one showcased their unusual relationship that went viral. Interspecies friendships, of course, aren't always what we expect them to be. David, for example, believes that Esme's horn is a good chew toy sometimes. The three have now merged, and they take walks around the property as a group. Animals are fascinating, aren't they? Number 10. Soraya the Orangutan and Roscoe the Dog when a lost dog followed a group of people back to work at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in South Carolina, it was the beginning of a beautiful and yet surprising friendship. The nature reserve workers took care of the hungry dog, feeding it and letting it stay at the nature reserve. The new visitor actually caused a bit of a stir when one of the residents of the reserve, Soraya the orangutan, would take an immediate shine to the lost hound, offering a welcoming hug of friendship since that very first day. Ah, oh, adorable. The pair have become totally inseparable and spend all of their time together. 
from swimming to eating and playing, they do everything together, and now they even go to work together. A book has even been published which follows the pair's cute and unexpected friendship. Roscoe and Soraya attend book signings together, and the media will soon be making them a blended couple name like Sarasco or Rosaya, and the paparazzi will be poking their lenses all over the fences for an exclusive snap. Oh, the celebrity life. Number 9. Two White Tiger Cubs and Anya the Chimpanzee are best friends. Times of terrible trauma do bring together animals and humans in the most unexpected of ways. That's exactly what happened when two white tiger cubs were born during a hurricane and their home would be suddenly engulfed with water. It sounds like a terrible disaster, and in many ways it was. The newborn cubs were separated from their mother as the dramatic events going on around them would cause her great stress and she was sadly a threat to her children. The cubs were taken into the home of a keeper, China York, who took care of the animals at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in South Carolina. The baby tigers were cared for by China, and she even introduced them to Anya the chimpanzee. The ape would take an immediate liking to the cubs and has become their surrogate mother since the day of the hurricane. Remarkable cross-species relationships do seem to happen when there's a vulnerable animal in need of support and an older, stronger animal animal that's able to offer them care. Sometimes, it really doesn't seem to matter what shape or size these guys are, they can form a loving bond that lasts regardless. Number 8. Unusual Friendship Between Wolf and Bear Perhaps it's easier to see how unusual relationships happen between domesticated animals or pets living under the same roof, but occasionally there are surprising combinations of wild animals living in the natural world that seem to defy all expectation. So when a Finnish photographer spotted a wolf and a bear spending time together, he was absolutely spellbound. And it really is an extraordinary sight. Although nobody can be quite sure how this apparent friendship came about, it does appear that the wolf and the bear not only tolerate each other's presence, but they actually seem to help each other. The wolf is quite young, so it's possible that, as it's not a threat to the bear and perhaps alone in the world, the bear has actually offered it some kind of kindness. It's unusual for a wild animal to share its food, especially with a completely different species, but these two animals are happy in each other's company and looking out for each other just as you'd expect out of friends. The photographer spotted the pair every night for 10 days in a row, and they spent many hours together. He thinks that perhaps the two young animals were otherwise alone and so offered each other a way to learn and survive in the wild. However it would come about, it's a truly beautiful friendship and I think this is my favorite yet. In fact, I'm feeling rather emotional. Oh. Number 7. A pigeon that can't fly befriended a puppy that can't walk. These two animals, who are named Herman and Lundy, got off to a tough start, but their friendship and the support of a rescue organization in Rochester, New York, has given this unlikely pair a hope for a new life. Herman, as it turns out, is a pigeon who would be brought to Sue Rogers at the rescue center when he was discovered locally and people realized that the poor bird couldn't even fly. Sadly, when this happens, it's usual that the unfortunate pigeon would likely be euthanized. However, Rogers would decide to take Herman home with her and try to give him another chance. Around that same time, she had also taken in a chihuahua puppy by the name of Lundy. Little Lundy has a problem with his spine, and that means that he can't use his back legs. The poorly pair, you know, the bird that can't fly and the dog that can't walk, would find unexpected comfort and friendship in each other. When Sue took photos of the cuddled up cute pair, she received an outpouring of good wishes and donations to get the animals the veterinary care that they need. With surgery and good care, Sue hopes that Lundy will be able to walk. Whether he'll be parted from his pigeon pal, though, is another matter altogether. Oh, so adorable. Number 6. Coco the Gorilla with her Kittens 
After adopting two beautiful kittens, a gorilla that was known for its ability to communicate in sign language has become a mother. Coco the gorilla just celebrated their 44th birthday, and the Gorilla Foundation in Redwood City, California would surprise Coco with a package holding a litter of kittens to play with. As Coco engaged with the small kittens, Coco's motherly instincts would kick in, and she took a tiny gray kitten called Miss Gray from the box, holding it in her arm, caressing its tummy, and even requesting a trainer to put Miss Gray on her head. The staff allowed Coco to retain Miss Gray and another kitten called Miss Black after the gorilla utilized sign language to convey to her trainer that the kittens were her children. The Gorilla Foundation said in an email message that after adopting the two, Coco has become more energetic and is signing more than even before. According to the Gorilla Foundation, Coco knows over 1,000 words in sign language and understands 2,000 words of spoken English. Coco has been a great lover of kittens ever since she first adopted one in 1983. Number 5. Heartbroken Dog Cries All Day Over His Missing Cow Friend Oh, good grief. This is too heartbreaking. I can't even take it. This dinky little dog has got all of the emotions, and there won't be a dry eye in the house once you see his sad little puppy dog face. Orphaned as a puppy, Rookie the dog had been taken into the care of a big brown cow. She had raised him, as if he were her own baby, and the dog spent all day with his adoptive mother. So when the farmer decided that it was time to sell his mother, you can imagine the little guy was beyond distraught. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Me. I have something in my eye. Oh, for Pete's sake, why are they selling the pup's mother? He chases her down the road, crying and calling for her. You can actually see the tears in his eyes. Seriously, the farmer sells the cow like it's some horrible Victorian novel. And then the dog slips into a deep depression, refusing to eat and only spending his days pining for his long lost mother. That is until eventually the farmer decides that this is not good for anyone, because I imagine that listening to the mournful cries of a cute dog for days on end would be enough to melt even the chilliest of hearts, and then he goes and buys the cow back. The two mismatched creatures are reunited and the world breathes a collective sigh of relief. And then it goes and books itself a therapy session. Number four. Chicken giving warmth and shelter laying on three kittens. Well, by now you're probably ready for anything, right? Well, here I go with a chicken and her cat babies because that's just how the animal kingdom rolls. It's only us stuffy old humans who seem to be incapable of dealing with this business of taking care of the lost and the vulnerable. When a poor mother mama cat would drown in a lake on a farm in Iraq, her kittens were thought to be lost as well, of an unexpected surrogate mother. This chicken had taken the three babies under her wing, well, under her butt actually, and was bringing them up as if they were her own regular little chicks. The farmer was most surprised to spot what looked like a brooding chicken sitting on her eggs, only to discover that what she was actually keeping warm was a litter of kittens. I can't imagine how surprised the farmer must have been to see this, because I know that I would have been. Number 3. Crow Loves Feeding Her Dog and Cat an unusually friendly white winged chuff is being so helpful that it's starting to just get the tiniest bit annoying. The eager to please bird is an Australian member of the crow family, and although she's a wild bird, she was rescued when her now owners found her injured on the side of the road. The bird is named Cha Cha, and nothing pleases Cha Cha more than taking care of her dog and cat family. And if it sounds bizarre, well, it really is. Cha Cha never returned to the wild as her injury meant that her wing would never fully recover, so she will never fly again. However, she has found a new family in Sky the dog and Kitten the cat, and is so dedicated to bringing these animals food and fussing over them that they can get a bit cross with her at times because she's a little bit bossy and won't accept it if her family won't do as they're told. 
Cha-Cha is said to be extremely loving but also domineering and has an attitude when someone attempts to steal anything from him. This is why it's so touching to see him now sharing meals with the animals and being a family bird. Number 2. Dog Becomes Best Friends with Abandoned Duckling this little duckling would be the sole survivor of an abandoned nest, but soon found an unexpected buddy in the form of a family's pet dog. Since the duckling's birth, Brody, a three-year-old golden retriever, and the nameless duckling have been inseparable. The owner claims that they eat together, play, swim, and even sleep together, and that the dog is extremely protective over the duck. Tommy, her 12-year-old son, recovered the abandoned nest beside a canal in their garden and they decided to assist them in hatching after conducting some study. The owner then placed an order for an incubator and they successfully hatched four ducklings after 28 days. Unfortunately, only one of them would end up surviving. They then sought advice from local wildlife specialists who advised that the surviving duck be released into the wild. The duckling, on the other hand, had different ideas. The owner said that they were first concerned that the two wouldn't get along. They do continue to encourage the duckling to meet other feathery friends, but she's now considered a member of the family, and any name ideas are welcome in the comments below. Number 1. Cheetah and Dog Friends Celebrate Anniversary Together a cheetah and a Labrador becoming great friends may seem to be the most improbable of friendships. Despite how strange it may seem though, these buddies with paws are keeping their friendship alive and well. But after initially meeting and forming a great relationship, Kasi, a male cheetah cub, and Matani, a female yellow Labrador dog, have celebrated a one-year anniversary of being together. The unusual pair used to just spend supervised playtime together, but now they actually live together full-time in the park's cheetah-run habitat. Though this is Bush Gardens' first cub-puppy pairing, it's not unusual for a single cheetah to be reared with a canine friend in the zoological world. According to a caregiver are sociable, often living in coalitions, and this social connection is quite similar. They'll be together for life as Kasi and Matani spend their days playing, training, and exercising, as well as visiting schools and events all to raise awareness about the condition of wild cheetahs and the significance of conservation efforts. As amusing as the two of them are together, animal specialists at the park anticipate their relationship to endure a lifetime. Animals can be vicious murderers and quite mean to one another, but as we've seen on this list, they can also build friendships that transcend instincts. I think all of us could probably take a lesson from these animals. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from or what you believe, everyone in the world deserves kindness and love. Which of these animal buddies melted your heart the most? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.